Hey, and welcome back to the Bot Blitzers channel. In today's video, we'll be showcasing an AI chatbot that is specifically made from a quotes website. And I don't mean like insurance or car quotes. These are quotes that can change your mindset, make you feel good, and keep those negative thoughts at bay. Just check out this output for an example. I asked it to give me 10 quotes on motivation, and here they are in a nice bullet points format. So how did I make this AI chatbot based on a quotes website? Well, let's start from the beginning. First of all, you would need to sign up for a free trial. To do that, you need to go to Bot Blitz's website and go to free trial. Once you've signed up with Google or your own email address, you'll be able to start creating your own AI chatbot. To source all of my quotes and information, I've used this amazing website called Gracious Quotes. Um, and I've known this website since the beginning in 2020. Uh, they have hundreds, if not thousands of quotes across uh, many authors and topics. So I got the AI to scrape um, hundreds of pages, around 440 pages uh, with various quotes. Uh, from authors and different topics. Okay, so I'll go through each option and show you what I have done. So I've named the chatbot Gracious Quotes uh, chatbot. And now if we go to Flow Builder, I've actually created my own prompt and I've made some adjustments based on the output that I was, uh, that the AI was given. So I've basically asked ChatGPT um, for a advanced prompt for a for a chatbot and it's given me this uh, very neat paragraph um, but that wasn't quite enough so when i was testing the chatbot the output wasn't giving me uh, a, a neat format so what i've put here is when the quotes are displayed each quote needs to be on a separate line and in bullet point format nothing else so i'm telling it that's the only way i want the the output they cannot be all jumbled together in one paragraph and because i think quotes and emojis go well together i've also put also add in emojis when you feel it's irrelevant uh, sorry relevant to make it more user friendly okay so i've actually turned on the safety prompt switch basically what you can do is put in any topic or phrase or category and the ai will say that that's not a related question to the chatbot. So this is really effective and I have this for my main chatbot and I found these are some of the best ones to use, but you can alter it to whatever whatever you like. Moving on, I've chosen the latest model GPT-40 Mini, um, but you can also add in Claude uh, Anthropic Key. You can actually uh, add your own API key down here. So if you just tap that, and you can pop it in there. I've kept the temperature at zero because I only want uh, data that's based from the Gracious Quotes website. Now, if you want to be a bit more creative, if you want the AI to bring in some more creativity, you can adjust this, but I wouldn't re recommend anything above 0.3. Next up, we have the chat interface where you can customize the look of your chatbot and you can add in messages, change the text, uh, all sorts really. So first up we have initial messages and I've put in here, hi, a quote today makes depression go away, which is the slogan they use for gracious quotes and I really like that. And then I've put, ask me for a type of quote with a smiley face because it's quite engaging. For suggested messages, I've put, give me five quotes on love, give me 10 quotes on self-improvement, give me 10 quotes on motivation. And what these are, are like buttons that the user can click uh, just once and that will automatically ask the chatbot this particular question or phrase. This is really handy to guide the users into um, into what you want them to, to ask as sometimes they'll go on your website and not know what to do. Now here we can choose between the light and the dark theme. I'm going with the light theme today. You can change the shadow settings. I'm, I've gone through all this in another video based on this level of customization. So um, I'll skim through most of this. You can choose your font family. You can upload a profile picture, which is there. Gracious Quotes uh, logo. You can input placeholder, cho choose the user message color, update the chat icon, which I have down here, down the bottom. If you don't have an icon, you can change the chat bubble button color. Auto show initial messages pop ups after seconds. This is really good because this bit down here that I'm highlighting will show up after a certain amount of seconds. 
So automatically the user will be, oh, well, I better click there. Next up, we have the lead magnet and this also shows the chat window. So instead of the message, the whole chat window will appear after a certain amount of seconds. We then have live human takeover. I won't go into this because I've done that in another video also. And you can also display the source reference link. This means that when uh, someone asks a question, the AI will try and find the source of where it's got its answer from. Usually this is correct, but if there's a lot of links, it might get confused. So I usually, for bigger websites that have been scraped and more pages, I'll turn this off. So let's hit save. Okay, the security tab um, has a few options. The main one is rate limiting, which means, for instance, if you had a really popular website and they're all using your chatbot, you can limit that because if too many people are using it at once, there may be an error. So you can actually limit this, uh, which I've got here, limit to only 20 messages every 240 seconds. One of the cool features of bot blitzers is you can capture leads. So a, a lead form can be generated at the very beginning or for every question or for human takeover only. And you can have first name, last name, email, phone number, message, and these can all be toggled on or off. You can add in your privacy policy down here, URL, and add a title for your lead form. We also have appointments, which is integrated with Calendly, Calendly struggle to say that, and your Google Calendar. You can integrate with either one of them. I won't go through this now, because once again, I have done this in another video. On your dashboard, you can see all the chat logs that people have asked questions for your chatbot. You can see the leads that you captured and appointments, and these can all be exported into a CSV format. Uh, next up, we have sources. This is where you can add or remove data. So for instance, you wanted to add a, a file now, you can do that, or just some text. These four web pages failed for some reason, so I'm, I'm just gonna leave them as they are, but if you don't want that to show, you can select those and then retrain the chatbot. You can add more links in. Uh, we can add in questions and answers. So the chatbot would be more specific on its answer from a certain question. You can add in a Google Sheets. Keywords trigger can be really handy for certain use cases. So for instance, if I um, put in here like quotes on love, love quotes, quotes about love. And then I put in here, let's just find a quick quote on love. So if we just quickly find one here. And if I put in you are my heart, my life, my one and only thought. So what that will do is when someone asks these particular phrases, quotes on love, love quotes, quotes about love. So let's put in quotes on love. Let's refresh the page first. Always comes in handy. Quotes on love. There you go. It's giving the answer that we asked it to. So that's really good for, for many use cases. But I will delete that for now. Here you can add in your company info. So I've just left that blank for now, but this is really handy. And you can embed the chat bot on your on your site in an iframe or as a chat bubble in the in the right side or left side corner. And there'll be a code for each. You can also share the link. So um, you can share that with your company or a friend, anything really, anyone. Next up, we've got integrations. We have Google SMS. That's for United States only. Twilio integration. Facebook integration through Twilio and WhatsApp integration through Twilio and there are guides for both. Okay, so let's put the chatbot to the test. I'll ask it a, a question such as um, I'm feeling rubbish this morning. Let's see what, it's, what it gives us. It's given us uh, one, two, five quotes to cheer us up. There you go. Here are some uplifting quotes to help brighten your day. And because I've asked for the format of bullet points, it's given me in a neat format. And I've asked for the author of the quotes and an emoji when it's relevant. And I think that's quite relevant. So you can basically do this for anything. So I'm angry. I need some angry quotes. Not quite sure what this would give, but let's have a look. Angriest feeling is a feeling that makes your mouth work faster than your mind. And that's by an unknown author. The greatest remedy for anger is delay. And most of these quotes are probably mainly from gracious quotes. But if it can't find a quote on that particular website, it will probably find one from its millions of uh, 
data collected from the internet. Okay, and that is how you create a chatbot for a quotes website. If you'd like to see more tutorials of bot blitzers, check out our YouTube channel. We have plenty of tutorials and we will try and upload every one to two days with new tutorials and, and ways in which you can create AI chatbots for various use cases and businesses. And if you sign up via this form or even just on our website, you will receive a free extra chatbot and that's when you buy any subscription package for first time buyers. I'll put the form link in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.